Today we're going to talk about Lyft's weekly ride challenge bonus, which was introduced on August 27th. So it's been about two months and I'm going to give you a review of what's changed uh, since that time. And stick around at the end of the video, I will share with you whether I think Lyft's declining bonus is reason enough for me to switch back over to Uber uh, as an Uber driver. So hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with the Ride Share Guy coming to you from Colombia, from Bogota, Colombia. Don't worry, I'll show you just a few quick pics at the end of the video so you can see how beautiful and amazing this city is and how grateful I am to be a driver uh, because we can work what we want and take off and enjoy the world when we want. So just to back up a little bit, uh, Lyft made this announcement and they gave us this brand new bonus. Prior to this, we had what was called the Power Driver Bonus, which had a top in San Francisco for my, my driving of $500. But you had certain acceptance rate and you also had peak hours in which you had to drive. So then they came out with this new bonus about two months ago, which eliminated the peak hour requirements and eliminated the acceptance rate requirement. And they only dropped it from 500 down to 423. And at that time, I wrote a blog post and made a video that said, yes, this is awesome. But there have been two significant, actually three significant changes that have occurred since then. So let's break them down. The first is that you can no longer make $423. My amount has now dropped down to 356. So here you can see a few pay statements. Uh, when the bonus first came out, $423 was the top. And then approximately a month later, it dropped down to 356. I can only hope that's the end of the drops. But disappointing to see that Lyft kind of teased us with a high rate and then uh, dropped it after uh, a few weeks. The second change is that now instead of being able to get three different payouts throughout the week, now you can only get two. And the first payout, you have to get all the way up to 140 trips to get that first payout. So here you can see the original uh, payout in September where you could get paid out three different times at uh, 82 trips and then after 58 more trips and then at 25 trips. And they were spread out nice, $143, 130 150 And now this is where I am this week where there's only two payouts and the first payout is at a whopping 140 trips to get $230 and then you got to do another uh, 25 to get 126 so they've kind of back ended it so again big disappointment it was sure nice having those three payouts with a full bonus at 423 now we're at two payouts uh, for $356 now the third major change is that Uber has now announced something called Uber Pro, which has made Uber a much more attractive company all of a sudden. For drivers that qualify at their highest level, which is called Diamond, you can get a 6% increase in your revenue. You can also get a 5% decrease in your gas expense. You can also get time and distance on rides, so you can determine if a ride is a ride you wanna take or not, so you can cancel if it doesn't work for you. And what else? You can also get free tuition at uh, Arizona State University. So these are some pretty remarkable things that are being offered. So when you consider that the Lyft bonus has been kind of, we kind of got bait and switched there. We kind of got told, here's, here is what it is, but now it's been switched a few times now to its current state. And Uber is on the upswing with their new program. So it makes you think. And in just a few minutes, I'm going to share with you what I think. But first, let me show you a couple pictures from Bogota, Colombia. So I've traveled quite a bit. This uh, is a common scene going through customs. <laughs> There's a lot of people. It actually took 35 minutes, which, believe me, is not bad. This is my first street food. This is called Areja de, de Huevo. So that's egg inside of like a roll. Uh, it's really good. And then they've got like a bunch of sauces and they drink uh, different flavored uh, kind of fruit juices. That's the view from my, my room. It was so beautiful with the sun, uh, sun setting over the mountain and the sky. Pretty great. Uh, to summarize this video, what I want to say is that even though Lyft has shown a lot of drops, I'm still going to stick with Lyft, at least until the Uber Pro comes to my market. At that point, I'm really going to have to make a hard, a hard choice. 
But for the time being, even though I can, I can make a little bit less money driving for Lyft, I still prefer the Lyft app over the Uber app. And um, I like that I don't have to worry about the peak hours. And I just like the Lyft uh, customers, the passengers, seem to be a little more friendly, a little more gregarious than the Uber. So all those things still tip me over to Lyft. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to this uh, channel, this YouTube channel, by all means, sign up, sign up. If you're a rideshare driver, you want to get all the latest news, this is the place to be. This is Jay Crater saying, have a great day out there. Be safe.